So we have Google Trends, we have Jungle Scout, Helium 10, and all of these great softwares that will allow you to find new product opportunities to sell on Amazon. Today, I wanna to share with you a beta version of what is known as the Product Opportunity Explorer. And it's an Amazon software tool that you can use to find different product niches and determine if it's gonna be a great product opportunity or not. This is a free version uh, that you can use uh, currently right now during the beta program. I'm not sure if this is gonna be just included in the professional membership or maybe for both the individual and professional membership. But as of right now, you can use this um, as a beta program. Uh, the full release, I'd imagine, would be later this year, later in 2022, or at some time in 2023. So today, I just want to share with you how to use this tool, how to gain access to it, most importantly, and how this is going to help you succeed as an Amazon seller. So the first question you're probably asking, how do I gain access to this product opportunity explorer and where is it located? So what you'll need to do is head into your desktop version of Amazon Seller Central, sign in in an upper left-hand corner, click the drop down menu. Now you're gonna see a bunch of different options here, select growth, and at the bottom, you're gonna see the product opportunity explorer. More times than not, you're not gonna be able to actually see this because you actually have to gain access and request approval for this tool currently because it's in its beta program right now. In order to gain access to this tool, all you need to do is send an email to this email address that I'm putting in the video right now. I'll also put this email address in the description of this video. And what you need to do is send them an email requesting access to the Product Opportunity Explorer. And to get ahead, make sure that you provide them your merchant token that is uh, related to your seller account. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick because this is something they're gonna ask you. All you need to do is go to the, the gear in the upper right hand corner, select account info. And then right here in the business information, select merchant token. And then you'll be taken to your merchant token, which you can copy and paste and put it in that email because Amazon seller support is going to ask for it anyway. So make sure you put that in the email, request support for this tool. In a matter of weeks, they should give you access if you meet all of their criteria and requirements. All right, so let's head back over to the tool and I'm going to show you how to use it and really the main benefits of this free tool. So when you're met with the, the opening screen here, the product opportunity explorer screen, you really have two different ways on how you can find different product opportunities. The first is that you can find opportunities by Amazon categories. So if you select this, you'll be met with all the different subcategories um, on Amazon and you can click each individual one, which will take you to a, another subcategory and eventually to the niche. So if you select garden, you can see there's a bunch of different types of product ideas and categories here that you can select. So if you select one outdoor decor, you might be met with even more. And, uh, and this really takes you down a rabbit hole. And eventually you're gonna be met with all of these different subcategories, which will take you into all the different niches that we're about to take a look at. So if you had an idea of, I want to sell flags for outdoor decor, this would be a great way of finding the different type of product opportunities within that, that subcategory. So if we go down here, we can see flags, we can select flags, and then we can click C category. Next, we're gonna be met with all these different flag niches that fall within this category, and it's gonna present us with all the different data so we can analyze what are the best product opportunities within this category. So what I recommend doing is taking a look at all the data here and using your criteria or you know, just based on some of the filters to understand what is the best opportunity. Now, thankfully, Amazon provides you with a lot of different filters in which you can analyze all of these different niches. So the first one that I really like to take a look at is the sales potential score. This is a score one out of 10, 10 being the highest that indicates the potential sales of a new product in that niche compared to all the other relative niches. So what does that mean? So basically if you have a 10 sales potential score, that means that your entry into that market is gonna be very easy in comparison to a product with a sales potential score of a one. It really gives you the best chance of success early on when you have no reviews or limited reviews and you're a brand new listing. So I like to go here and I like to select these arrows so I can see it um, in a descending order, meaning I'm gonna see the 10 out of 10s or the nine out of 10s first. So once I do that, I would take a look at the first couple customer needs here. So we have flags for outside. That's a very good niche according to Amazon. And then I would take a look at these search volumes. Search volume is the amount of times people are actually searching for this type of specific product that is gonna meet their need that they're, they're searching for. If we have a high search volume, that means that we're gonna have a high amount of demand and therefore, more than likely, a lot of sales. 
Now you'll see on Amazon, which this is not how it is on Jungle Scout or Helium 10, but the search volume is for the past 360 days or roughly one year time. Uh, I usually skip that and go over to the 90 days because that's much more relevant to the recent months and it gives us a better idea if we're trending up or trending down in search volume. So I'll take a look at the search volume. We have 19,000, 28,000 for this one, 412,000, which is a lot. And then we could take a look at if it's trending up or down in search volume. Now, all three of these are trending up at a significant amount, which is very good to see. And then we can take a look at the units sold. So this is also the last 360 days. The more units sold in a niche, the more sales that you can generate. So it's always a good thing. So it's a great way to analyze all of this data and you can quickly find a product opportunity within a specific category. Now let's say that we really like this data that we're being presented for the flags for outside. You can also take a look at all the different search terms. So these are search terms that people are searching for on Amazon in order to find this niche of products. Let's say if I were to sell this product, I would personally put these search terms in my product description, my bullet points, my title, and uh, most importantly on the back end for my search terms that you can add when editing your listing. So next, let's click this niche just to get a better idea of um, some more information on it and maybe some of the top products. So once you click that, you can see the niche um, in terms of all the different data that we just took a look at. So this has not changed, but you can also dive further into this by scrolling down and you'll see four different tabs here. You can have products, search terms, insights, and trends. Products are the top products in this niche, and you can select them to get a better understanding of what their product listing looks like. Then you can select search terms to get a better idea of what people are searching for in order to find this niche. It gives you a lot of great information, year over year growth, quarter over quarter, stuff that is very important to an Amazon seller. And the last two are your insights and trends. The insights tab will take you into even more information about this niche, but the most important thing that I always take a look at are the trends. This is what's very important and useful on Jungle Scout, and Amazon also provides you this information week over week. So we can take a look at all this different information here, and we can also add metrics. So for search volume, we can see week over week that this is steadily increasing from this past November. That's always a good sign for a new product opportunity. You can also take a look at the product counts that are within this niche. Now, if search volume is increasing and demand is increasing, it only makes sense that the product count or the number of sellers that are selling these products are increasing as well. So you can see competition is rising. Take a look at the average price and also your search conversion rate. As I mentioned, there are some other metrics that you can add to get a better idea of how that product is performing, and you can do so just by selecting that. So overall, a great way to find opportunities if you know the category of products that you want to be selling in. Now, the other way that you can find opportunities is by the search bar here. Now, this is very similar to kind of what we do with the uh, finding the opportunities based on the categories. But if we know a search term that we want to find a product in, we can easily type that in here and get other product ideas based on that search term. So for example, let's say that we've used Google Trends, we found out that cake stands is a very popular search term and you're considering selling that product. So what I would do is I would type in that search term here and more than likely it's gonna pop up here so you can select cake stand. Now once you type that in, you're gonna be met with all the matching niches for that search term. One thing that I've noticed from using this week over week is that Amazon does not really present you with a whole lot of niches uh, for that matching uh, search term that you may have typed in. It's a lot easier to use the find opportunities by categories, in my personal opinion, if you have a general idea of what you want to be selling. So again, this works the same way. Once you type in your, your search term here, you're gonna be met with all the customer needs and niches, um, and then you can go ahead, you can filter the data based on the sales potential score. You can look at the 10 out of 10s or the nine out of 10s, which provide the best opportunity according to Amazon and then you can dive deeper into them by selecting it, you know, checking out the trends, the search terms, and the insights. Really gives you a great idea if that's gonna be a good opportunity or not. So overall, I think that this Product Opportunity Explorer is a great program to be using, and if it continues to be free to Amazon sellers, whether that's with the individual, professional, or both seller account types, I think this is a great way to begin selling on Amazon and finding those product opportunities. Now comparing this software to the paid softwares like Jungle Scout and Helium 10, I do not think that this is as useful as those other softwares, but for it being free, you know, you cannot complain about this. This is definitely better than using Google Trends or any of the other free softwares, but I still think there's some room for improvement for to get this tool up to the level that those paid softwares are. 
Thank you for watching and let me know down below in the comments if you want me to go into more detail about the Product Opportunity Explorer and how I would use it for my own business if I didn't have access to Jungle Scout.